The next lecture is fundamentals. Now we start with introduction. Cable Labs developed DOCSIS technology to transfer data over coaxial cable that are deployed and used for cable DV connections. DOCSIS standards are adopted by the cable operators across the world so that internet data, voice and video services are provided using existing cable TV systems. Next is frequency expansions. Now we start with downstream expansions. First is 1.2 GHz. Plant expansions of up to 1.2 GHz are supported by DOCSIS 3.1. CM and CMTS of DOCSIS 3.1 supports 1.2 GHz. Second is 1.794 GHz. There is an optional support for 1.7 GHz by DOCSIS 3.1 CM and CMTS. It may be used in the later versions. Next is upstream expansions. 85 MHz QM or OFDM. 85 MHz upstream is supported by DOCSIS 3.1 as by 3.0. 117 MHz OFDM. An additional support has been added by DOCSIS 3.1 for 117 MHz return. 204 MHz OFDM. An optional support has been added by DOCSIS 3.1 for 204 MHz return. It is desirable to expand the frequency but not necessary. The width of downstream OFDM carriers is from 24 MHz to 192 MHz. The expansion of downstream is up to 1.7 GHz. The width of upstream OFDM carriers is from 6.4 MHz to 96 MHz. The expansion of downstream is from 204 MHz. There is legacy carriers coexistence. Typically less than 250 end devices are connected per node. Next is some issues in mid split to ponder. Up to 65 dBmV has been transmitted by DOCSIS 3.1 modems with isolation of home splitters. Tuner RF isolation has been deployed for TV IF from 41 to 47 MHz. Ingress of FM band in the return path. There is an ingression of signal from the upstream carrier in the aeronautical band. OOB STB downstream carriers. Tilt and equalization in upstream. This table shows the speeds and frequencies of DOCSIS 3.0 and DOCSIS 3.1. You can go through this by yourself. Next is technologies in DOCSIS 3.1. Advanced signal processing techniques are used by DOCSIS 3.1 to achieve higher throughput by fully utilizing the frequency spectrum and the available spectrum for data transfer in upstream and downstream can be increased. Higher order modulation for data transfer can be utilized by DOCSIS 3.1 by using the improvements in error correction technology. 4096 QM has been supported by DOCSIS 3.1 that can be scaled up to 16384 QM. Hence, data can be transmitted more efficiently. The use of orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is another improvement in DOCSIS 3.1. A lot more data is allowed by OFDM to be packed in the same frequency spectrum than SCQM used in DOCSIS 3.0. There is a splitting of a data stream into multiple streams in OFDM and then multiple frequency subcarriers are used to transmit them simultaneously. Hence, more data has been transmitted on the same frequency band. Higher frequency spectrum for data transfers in upstream and downstream is allocated by DOCSIS 3.1 in addition to enhanced signal processing techniques like 4096 QM and OFDM. Upstream frequency band from 5 MHz to 65 MHz and downstream from 85 MHz to 1002 MHz is used by DOCSIS 3.0, whereas upstream from 5 MHz to 204 MHz and downstream from 252 MHz to 1788 MHz is allocated by DOCSIS 3.1. Next is OFDM carrier. OFDM stands for Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing. It uses multi-carrier technology. Individual narrowband subcarriers are used. It is using FFT-based implementation. In downstream, there is a spacing of subcarriers at either 25 or 50 kHz or within a downstream carrier of 192 MHz, there is a spacing of as many as 8000 subcarriers at 25 kHz each. There is an overlapping of subcarriers in spectrum to get even greater spectral efficiency. When there are issues of interference or presence of legacy carriers, each subcarrier can be turned off. Each subcarrier has its own level of modulation. The bandwidth can be gained by eliminating guard band so that more bits per hertz can be transmitted.
Due to orthogonality property of carriers, each of them are distinguishable and non-interfering. The width of OFDM carriers in 6 MHz increment is from 24 to 192 MHz. There are up to 5 192 MHz wide carriers. Symbol times are also longer. Spectrum efficiency is better due to deployment of carriers up to the edge of the channel without guard bands. Better utilization of spectrum through bit loading. Use of flexible modulation schemes. Different modulation schemes are used on the basis of performance of cable modem. On the basis of MER at the CPE, the level of modulation is evaluated. Next is subcarrier modulation. Either a 25 kHz spacing or a 50 kHz spacing can be used to define subcarriers. This means that for 192 MHz carrier, there are either 4096 subcarriers, spacing of 50 kHz using 4K FFT, or 8192 subcarriers, spacing of 25 kHz using 8K FFT. Different order of QAM modulation has been used by each of these subcarriers. So this is all in this lecture. Thanks.